Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Innalhamdulillah Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'ufiruh Wa na'udhu billahi min syururi anfusina Wa min sayyati a'malina Man yahdihillah falamudillalah Wa man yudlil falahadiyalah Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharikalah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh Alhamdulillah We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us opportunity to to fast in the second day of Ramadan alhamdulillah alhamdulillah bi ni'matihi tatimmu salihat i am brother masri inshallah i will share with all of us about charity because in the month of ramadan one of the good deeds which should we focus on is to increase our charity to other people what is the definition of charity or maybe we know it as sadaqah linguistically sadaqah comes from the word sidq sincerity it is a sign of sincerity of faith on the part of the person who give it so the word sadaqah comes from sidq which means sincerity so this linguistic meaning exists in one of the prophetic hadith narrated by Abu Malik al-Ash'ari radiyallahu anhu prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned at-tuhuru shatrul iman cleanliness is half of faith walhamdulillah tamla'ul mizan and alhamdulillah the word alhamdulillah all praise and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Allah alone fills the scale wa subhanallah wa alhamdulillah the word subhanallah and alhamdulillah tamla'u ma bayna samawati wal ard this word subhanallah glory be to Allah and alhamdulillah praise be to Allah fill up what is between the heavens and earth وَالصَّلَاةُ نُورٌ Prayer is a light وَالصَّدَقَةُ بُرْهَانٌ And giving charity is a proof or evidence of what? Evidence of faith So in this hadith Prophet SAW mentioned that giving charity or sadaqah is a proof is a dalil is an evidence for someone's faith so there is a relationship between a linguistic definition and the shara'i definitions so what is the shara'i definition for sadaqah sadaqah means worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving money without that being made obligatory in shari'ah so in the shar'i definition giving charity is by giving money which is not obligatory on us but somehow sometimes the word sadaqah is used also to refer to obligatory zakat so if we look at some verses quranic verses it use word sadaqah which means zakat and the word sadaqah also can be applied to all kind of goods of good deeds. Al Imam Al Bukhari mentioned in his book Sahih Al Bukhari, there is a chapter in this book. He named it chapter Kullu Ma'rufin Sadaqah. Every good deed is a charity. Then Al Imam Al Bukhari narrated. The prophetic sayings from Jabir bin Abdullah radiyallahu anhu Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned kullu ma'rufin sadaqah every good deed is charity so in this hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that everything we do in this life as long as it is a good thing it is considered as charity as sadaqah Al Imam Ibn Battal mentioned he explained this hadith he said this hadith indicates that every good thing 
that a person does or says is recorded for him as an act of charity. Al Imam An Nawawi said, "The Prophet saying every good deed is a charity means that it is like charity in reward. Therefore, in Islam, every good deed is charity. But today we are talking about something specific about." Charity by giving money by helping needy people. So now let's move on to see what does what do Al Quran and As Sunnah says about charity. Okay, we look what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in Al Quran in Surah Al Baqarah, verse two hundred two hundred fifty four. Alhamdulillahi min al Shaytan al Rajim. يا أيها الذين آمنوا أنفقوا مما رزقناكم من قبل أن يأتي يوم لا بيع فيه ولا خلة ولا شفاعة والكافرون هم الظالمون سورة البقرة بس 254 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O believer O you who believe Span of that which we have provided for you Span whatever we have given to you Min qabli ayyatiya yawmul Before a day comes When there will be no bargaining No friendship No intercessions and it is the disbelievers who are the zalimu, the wrongdoers. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to give charity, to give infaq, to spend whatever wealth which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. We should realize that our wealth, our money, everything we have comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the owner of everything. Now the owner of everything asks us to spend. So it is our obligation to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, we should realize that some of the salakah is wajib like I've mentioned like zakat and some of the uh, salakah is recommended. It's not wajib, it's mandu. We are recommended to, to do so. And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in verse 2, Al-Baqarah 2, 261 until 262, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about salatah. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَنْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَ فِي كُلِّ سُنْبُلَةٍ مِئَةُ حَبَّةٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes an analogy for giving charity. He said, the likeness of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as the likeness of a grain. It grows seven years and each year has a hundred grains. Wallahu yudha'ifu liman yasha. Wallahu. يُضَاعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah gives manifold increase to whom He wills. Allah multiply it. We give one charity, we get until 700 rewards. وَاللَّهُ وَاسِعٌ عَلِيمٌ Allah, all know. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله. Those who spend their wealth in the cause of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. ثم لا يتبعون ما أنفقوا منا ولا أذلهم أجرهم عند ربهم. 
ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الله said those who ever spend their wealth in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not follow their do not follow up their gift with reminders of their generosity or with injury in this hadith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the adab of giving charity after we have given our charity to the receiver don't ever remind them do not remind them about what we have given to them because it will hurt their heart can you imagine we are poor people we need money someone gives us money and then tomorrow he told he tells us do you remember yesterday i gave you this and that what do we feel we feel hurt we feel sad we feel embarrassed that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these verses taught us how to give charity do not remind the receiver about what we have given to them do not follow up their gift with reminders of their generosity or with injury and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Lahum ajruhum inda rabbihim Their reward is with their Lord Our reward, when we give charity Our reward is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Do not expect anything from the receiver Do not expect anything from receiver Including doa ha. This is the highest level of ikhlas like have been mentioned by Al Imam Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah said that the sincerity the highest level of sincerity he give example that when we do charity we do not expect a dua from the receiver sometimes when we ask or people ask us why do you give charity why do you give sadaqah we said that we want to give it to poor people because these poor people, their prayer, their dua is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, we as human beings, we are encouraged to thank people who give us, who help us, who give charity to us. But as, a, as someone who gives charity, do not, do not expect any return from the receiver. We should also only expect return from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why because if we expect return from the receiver sometimes they do not give us they do not give us back they do not pray for us they do not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to increase our wealth to increase our health to grant us paradise so sincerity is important in our charity Expect rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. Don't expect anything from the receiver, including the dua, the prayer of receiver. So when we are sincere in giving charity, our reward will be multiplied to 700 times. Wow, big reward. Can you imagine? You invest your money, and maybe you, your return will be... 5%, 10%, but this time you invest your money, you get seven, three, seven hundred rewards. 700 times rewards. MashaAllah, very big word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu anfiqu min tayyibati ma kasabtum wa mimma akharajna lakum minal ard O believer, span of the good things which you have earned and of that which we have, produ we have produced from the earth for you in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to give charity from valuable items, valuable things. Do not give charity from something which is not usable, from rubbish, 
from something from our room which we have kept it for a long time and we do not know where to throw it so we give it to charity no that's not charity so choose good items usable items beneficial items from our wealth to give it to others and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned وَلَا تَيَمَّمُ الْخَبِيثَ مِنْهُ تُنْفِقُونَ وَلَسْتُمْ بِآخِذِهِ إِلَّا أَنْ تُغْمِضُوا فِيهِ And Allah reminds us Do not aim at that which is bad to spend from it Do not spend from bad items From items, from things Which you will not accept it if someone give it to us, we do not want to accept it. So please do not give such item to people. Give something which we will accept when someone give us to give it to us. Give something to people which when we receive it from others, we will feel happy. Please respect the receiver. Just because we are the donor and they are the receiver, it does not mean we should not respect them. Show respect. They have dignity. So respect all people. Allah mentioned, "Walastum bi ahidhihi illa an tuhmidu fi." You yourself will not accept that kind of things, and you will close your eyes. وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ Allah is rich, free of all needs, and worthy of all praise. So from these verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to give charity, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to us about the adab in giving charity. Everything has its adab. Giving charity also has its adab. One of the secret of, of the hikmah of giving charity is to to make our relationship with our brothers closer. But if we do not obey this adab, if we do not follow the adab which has been taught by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it could destroy our relationship with our brothers. It shows that we disrespect them when we mention Remind them about what we have given to them at the past. We hurt their heart. Charity should clean our heart. But when we remind people about what we have done in past, at past, we have given charity to them, that kind of charity does not cleanse our heart. In fact, it destroys our heart. What a waste. We spend our money, and we don't get any reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And let's take a look at few hadith Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sayings about charity. And Abu Hurairah, it was narrated that Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu said, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, Man tasaddaqa bi adli tamratin min kasbin tayyibin Whoever gives charity equals to a date from good earnings. Wala yas'adu ilallahi illa tayyib. And Rasulullah SAW said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept anything but that which is good. Fa inna Allah yataqabbaluha biyamini. Allah will take that charity with his right hand. ثُمَّ يُرَبِّيهَا لِصَاهِبِهِ كَمَا يُرَبِّي أَحَدُكُمْ فَلُوَّهُ Allah will take it with His right hand and turn it for the one who gave it as any one of you turns His fold until it becomes like a mountain حَتَّى تَكُونَ مِسْلَ الْجَمَانِ Until it becomes like a mountain Narrated by Imam Al-Bukhari and Muslim Another hadith Mentioned by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam About the virtue of giving charity Like I have mentioned As-sadaqah to burhan Sadaqah giving charity Is an evidence or signs of faith 
what is the meaning of burhan burhan is sunlight when the sun shines it will produce a very clear light which will enable us to see so this hadith tells us that sadaqah is a clear evidence for someone's faith it is a clear proof of someone's iman because people love his wealth we work hard to have money but we sacrifice our love to our own wealth by giving charity that's why sadaqah is called burhan that's why it is called a clear evidence a clear proof of someone's faith the charity also will erase extinguishes our sin if this is the only reward for the giving charity is enough for us because kullu bani adam khattaud every people every son of adam every children of adam is sinful is committing sin and khairul khattain tawwabun the best sinner is the one who repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so all of us committed sins all of us have sins so we need something to erase our sins so Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a hadith narrated by Imam At-Tirmidhi ala adulluka ala abuwabil khair shall I not guide you to the doors doors of good fasting is a shield was sadaqatu the charity extinguishes sins like water extinguishes fire so how to erase our sins one of the way to erase our sins is by giving charity mashallah Allah kareem and the angel will make dua for those who give charity every day every day prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned ma min yawmin yusbihu al-ibadu fihi illa malakan yanzilan there is no day on which the people get up but two angels come down fa yaqulu ahaduhuma and one of the angels will say allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa Oh Allah, give the compensation to the one who spends in charity. وَيَقُولُ الْآخَرُ And the other says, Allahumma a'ti mumsikan talafa Oh Allah, destroy the one who withholds. Oh Allah, destroy the one who refused to spend for your cause. Oh Allah, destroy the one who refused to give charity. Aati mumsikan talafa. Destroy the one who it holds his well. Does not want to give charity. Okay, that's all from now. For now, inshallah, for the next sessions, we will continue our session with the rulings of charity, types of charity, and other virtues of charity. Because so many verses, Quranic verses about charity, and so many hadiths about charity. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.